On Spotlight Now, we bring you one of the young singers working to change the face of the gospel music industry in Nigeria. Fulabi Newell talks to us about the new sound and why he thinks gospel music should not be free. Take a listen. For Labi Noel came into music the same way many others before him did, through the church. However, his style of delivery and thoughts about the current structure in the gospel music circle here in Nigeria marked him as part of the crop of new singers changing the face of the subgenre. He started singing as a secondary school student. Music was not only his happy place, it was his claim to popularity. However, it didn't become a potential career until he got to the university. You know, so I went off to boarding school, which was like challenging because, you know, I had to battle with low self-esteem. You know, I was quite small at the time, you know, so. But I think I found solace in the fellowship you know, which I joined and served. And then, you know, I discovered who I truly am and built my confidence as well. So moving on to my university, University of Agriculture at Belkuta. Yeah, you should Google it. <laughs> you know, so um, moving on to, to university, I discovered an amazing church where I served and then developed my skills as a musician, as a worship leader, you know, as a Christian as well. Um, but then I didn't um, have a clue that I would, you know, venture into recording songs and releasing to the world. So I think uh, at some point I had so many songs coming and then I was like, okay, let's just record these songs and just share with people. And then that was the start of it. It wasn't an easy start for Labi's decision to test the waters came with a lot of sacrifices, including his laptop, which he sold in order to attract a good producer. That's where popular producer Wilson Joel comes in. There's this particular song that I loved so much and I wanted people to just listen to. And you know, and uh, with a great song means you need to get the great producer as well to express that song for you. So I reached out to Wilson Joel at the time, you know, who had just gotten back from South Africa. And, you know, I was like, oh, I have this song. And as you can imagine, I'm this young boy with no clue how to go about this. And um, Wilson has been in the industry for quite a while. And I'm sure he doesn't know who I am. But I risked, um, you know, I used uh, social media, you know, contacted him on Twitter and said, hey, um, <laughs> I don't have a lot of money. I'm fresh, new, but I have this song. I think you're in the best place to produce it. And, you know, he said, oh, come over, let's do this. And that was like the start of it. Their first song together, God of Heaven, released in 2015, made its way into gospel music charts nationwide. The success paved the way for other projects, including his debut album, Good God, which houses the popular track, My Heart. Falabi's passion is born from the desire to create music that appeals to the millennials who have a taste for great production, creativity and delivery, as well as theme and songwriting. He has been compared to the likes of Grammy-nominated guitarist Travis Green, who he names one of his influences alongside non-Christian artist John Legend. Growing up, I... Uh, we didn't really have Christian music that we can like listen to and be like, oh yeah, I don't need these other songs. I have quality music when it comes to, you know, my Christian family and all. You know, so we've, um, but I think we're growing. The industry is improving. We have new people. And that's why I'm so particular about this sound for my generation. You know, um, we've always had hymns, spiritual songs, you know, church worship and all of that, but we don't have that sound 
that we can relate to and still talks about Jesus, talks about the love of God and all of that. So I think um, that's been my drive so far, you know, putting out that new sound and, and telling people, hey, it's cool to be Christian. With that change of mentality comes a demand for an overhauling of the existing business structure and distribution system. Part of the reason why the previous generation was, you know, chunking out music that wasn't all that excellent or having enough quality and depth was because there was no font. And to encourage that new sound that has the excellence, that has um, the quality, the proper time, and um, you know it's produced right. We need funds. Um, I know in you know developed countries we have publishing rights. We have structures, uh, royalties that you can track. You know you get money off all of these platforms. But luckily for you know our generation, we have the internet. So even if churches don't pay you, or other events don't pay you as much, or you don't get CD sales which I think is you know, gradually fading out because we have you know, Deezer, iTunes, and other platforms. You can put your music on. Yeah, and then another thing for Christian music, we should stop giving it out free. It's, um, it uh, portrays, um, it kind of gives a sense of not having value or not valuing what you carry or what you're dishing out. So, Put it online, let people pay for it. Uh, put it on YouTube, um, create an AdSense account, and when they view your videos, you know, you can get some money off it. So not necessarily because money is your primary goal, but just so that you can create something better, which requires more. You have to go on tours, you have to reach out. I think the average producer charges 250000 per track. And that's not including mixing and mastering, you know, CD printing, or even putting it up online as well. So it's a lot. So I think we can um, leverage on the internet. Falabi Noel is currently working on a second album titled Good God, an extended version of his latest EP of the same title. The project features a number of top acts including Honus and Floroka. No